Hello again, this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener and today we're going to talk about how to fix bad soil. If you have really heavy clay soil, which is very common here in San Diego, it's going to be tough to grow anything in. Here are some ideas on how to fix that. First, you probably can just amend it with some good composted topsoil. Now composted topsoil is regular topsoil that has been mixed in either a 50-50 grade or a 20-80 grade, 20% 20 compost, 80% topsoil. And this is a nice loamy mix that is really good to mix in with the dirt and really break up the clay. Another thing that's really great for breaking up clay soils are these soil building conditioners. They also act to really help break it up. If the clay is really, really bad, then you're going to have to mix in some garden gypsum a couple of weeks ahead of time and really kind of break the soil up first. Then go back and add some gypsum uh, or some composted amendments to really help with the soil. Another thing I really love to add into my soil planting areas are Grow Power Plus. This adds those great microbial life forms that are really great for getting life going back into your garden. If you're planting palms and succulents, definitely want to use a cactus mix. Another way to deal with really bad soil is just to build up. Build a raised planter bed out of keystone or block or other things and then fill that with your general purpose planting mix. You can mix in some of the original dirt, but you want mostly, the, again, that planting mix that has a good loamy quality to it that allows the roots to really thrive, allows air to go all around the roots. It's really a really nice mix you want to have your plants in. You can also do container plants. I used to have over 100 roses in my containers and they did great, won a lot of trophies. Definitely want to use some kind of moisture control potting mix for those type of things and a good slow release fertilizer because it's a little tougher to keep those nutrients going uh, in a pot. They'd want to drain right out the bottom. Well, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Two Minute Gardener to get more videos to help with your landscape. Thanks for watching.